hello everyone and today i'm gonna show you how to use and attach dot rc files resource files to your exe so basically rc files are resource files for application or for portable exes you can store different types of things in rc files like ico files string tables and other types of files now if you store dot ico file in the resource it will become the file icon for the application if there are multiple icon files then windows will randomly pick one and set the file icon to it and if you want to specify one icon file as the file icon then you have to mark its identifier as a and it will set the icon as default file icon so over here i have two files this rc file and the cpp file so it's open over here and rc file is empty cpp file has windows .h included our stream and conio.h for the get ch which we are going to use right now and we are using namespace std for c++ so i'm going to create string table in rc file and will load it using our program and after that i will show you how to attach the rc to the program so in your resource script type string table and pair of curly bracket and in there we have to give an identifier so you can type any number over here just make sure that it shouldn't repeat so i'm gonna start with thousand and then go ahead and give a comma and then in pair of double quotes you can type whatever string you want so we'll just type hello and uh, exclamatory marks bunch of them and um, after it you don't need an semicolon or anything like that you can just go ahead and second line you can give an identifier 1001 in my case comma and the string I'm gonna type hi from 1001 and you can save this so after you save this you need to find the location of Windrush which is a resource compiler which comes with a C compiler that you download so you just need to find in the files I found it by going to compiler options programs and over here I clicked on browse and then I right click on the file explorer and then I clicked on open in windows terminal or you can just press shift right click and you can press open powershell window here so that's how i found it now i have the windows terminal opened over here and i'm using command prompt so over there you can type win res.exe hyphen i in double goals you can pass in the path of the rc file so mine is located on d colon slash stuff slash rc slash example rc and after that hyphen hyphen input hyphen format equals rc after that you can specify the output file name so hyphen o and then in double quotes you can specify the output file directory in my case it's d colon slash stuff slash rc slash now you can specify the file name i'm gonna type example R C C C C C C C C C so I can make difference between the non-compiled and compiled R C dot R E S which is the file format of compiled resource file and after that you have to pass in hyphen capital O and C O F F and now you can hit enter and it will compile the resource and if there are no errors it will just say nothing and you can run another command but over here you can see that it created a resource file which is compiled which means it has every resource now let's head to our program which is currently empty so let's type stuff in it to load string from the resource we first need to create a buffer so char buff an array of it which is going to be around 200 you can give any size over there as long as it's big enough for the string that you are loading and after that you can call the function load string and in here first parameter will be instance so type get module handle and pass in null after that the id of the string so in our case that is thousand and thousand and one so i'm just gonna load the second one which is thousand and one 
2001 and then the buffer which is gonna be buf and then max amount of characters to copy so we can just pass in 200 over there and after that we can print the buff so see out buff end line now you can compile this and notice how it just creates a exe and you can run it and you can see that it prints nothing and then you can press get ch and it will exit blah 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 and it will continue its life but in order to make this work we need to copy the command compiled the ex gcc exe this is the command you can go ahead and copy this till the end Control c now after that you can paste it now here we gotta edit few things so go all the way to the start of the command and over here you have to add hyphen c and in this path over here we have to change this exe to object now this will give us the object file for our program so that we can attach the resource file now you can hit enter and it will compile if there are any errors it will show up if there are none then you can just continue with different command so now you can see that there is a example.o file and you can run this with cnd and do stuff with that but for this we got to delete this example.exe because it will override anyway so you can see that it's deleted now in our command processor this is the last command we are going to use which is to combine the object file and the res file so type g++ dot exe and then the path of the object so d colon slash so slash rc slash example dot o and after that we need to specify the path for our res file so we'll type that d colon slash so slash rc slash example rc c c c c so on and after that we need to specify the output file location so hyphen o and then d colon slash of slash rc slash now you can specify the file name so i'm gonna name it out example dot exe notice that now this will be an exe file now you can hit enter and it will generate an exe over here and now you can run this and after you run this you can see that it printed hi from our identifier so that's how you use and attach resource files to your program your c program or c plus plus program and that was it for today's video hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press that like button also make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and bye bye